Just before the recent hype around their upcoming turbocharged CP3 engine, Yamaha had already revealed a radical plug-in hybrid prototype, based on the MT-09. Interestingly, that hybrid news is nearly two months old, and the turbocharged CP3 came afterward. While many users dislike hybrid vehicles due to their higher maintenance costs compared to regular combustion engine vehicles, this new MT-09 might just change your mind. So, without any delay, let's dive in. The timing is bold and strategic. With emissions regulations tightening and electric mobility gradually hiking center stage, Yamaha is ensuring that their offerings cater not only to traditionalists, who crave petrol-fueled excitement, but also to forward-looking riders who are more inclined toward cleaner technologies. The new plug-in hybrid MT-09 is more than just a concept. It's a real-world development mule and has already been showcased in action via Yamaha Motors' official YouTube channel. At the heart of the machine is the familiar 890cc CP3 triple engine known for its unique sound and torque-rich character. But nestled behind that combustion engine, roughly between the rider's knees, lies a powerful electric motor. This combination allows the prototype to operate as a plug-in hybrid vehicle, with the ability to run in full electric mode at speeds up to approximately 30 miles per hour, or 57 kilometers per hour, making it ideal for city riding or short distance commuting. In terms of design, Yamaha hasn't reinvented the wheel, at least visually. The prototype seems to be built on the 2023 MT-09 model. The telltale signs include the slotted heel plates and monochrome dash, both of which have been updated in the 2024 version. This signals that Yamaha has been secretly developing this technology for a few years, fine-tuning the hybrid layout before unveiling it publicly. The actual power delivery strategy hasn't been fully explained. It's not clear if the two powertrains, electric and petrol, merge before or after the gearbox. What is confirmed, however, is that the system can operate in three modes, electric only, petrol only, or a combination of both. Interestingly, unlike Kawasaki's upcoming automated hybrid systems found on the Ninja 7 Hybrid and Z7 Hybrid, Yamaha's prototype keeps the manual clutch lever and gear pedal intact. That decision might appeal to traditional motorcyclists who still cherish the visceral control of shifting gears manually. One of the most intriguing parts of the project is Yamaha's take on the usual challenge of hybrid motorcycle design. Fitting an extra motor and a battery into a standard-sized motorcycle chassis is not easy. Kawasaki's hybrids, for example, use a 13-kilogram battery stored under the seat, which requires a longer swing arm and compromises handling. Yamaha seems to have taken a more integrated approach. Comparing photos reveals that the swing arm on this hybrid MT-09 is identical in length to the standard version, suggesting that the battery has been cleverly packaged elsewhere. Speculation suggests that the battery may be positioned in front of the rider. A close-up of the tank area shows an unusual filler cap offset to the right, and what appears to be a finned heat sink or radiator placed in the center possibly for cooling the battery or inverter. Further evidence of enhanced cooling is seen in the presence of additional radiators on both sides of the bike, each with its own sizable air scoop. All of this points to Yamaha's focus on efficient heat management, crucial for a compact hybrid design. Despite the additional components, Yamaha states that the system has a compact layout and offers a similar size to conventional motorcycles, which, if true, could give them a major advantage in terms of weight balance and agility. It's important to understand the difference between hybrid and plug-in hybrid PHEV systems. Regular hybrids can only charge their batteries through regenerative braking or by drawing power from the petrol engine, meaning they still ultimately rely on fossil fuels. Plug-in hybrids, on the other hand, allow users to charge the battery from the grid. This can result in cleaner and cheaper short-distance travel and reduce the bike's overall emissions footprint. With the world moving toward greener energy, the PHEV solution offers a pragmatic bridge between traditional and fully electric power. Yamaha's decision to embrace the plug-in hybrid route shows that they're not just chasing trends, they're actively preparing to future-proof their lineup. To date, the motorcycle industry has struggled with hybrid designs, especially plug-in variants. The challenges are obvious, limited space, 
complex integration of electronics and power systems, and the need to maintain a lightweight, responsive riding experience. But Yamaha's prototype could mark a turning point. It's the first serious effort we've seen that tries to preserve the DNA of a naked performance bike while blending it with clean electric functionality. Kawasaki might have beaten Yamaha in terms of timelines with their Ninja 7 Hybrid and Z7 Hybrid models. However, Yamaha's approach appears to be more mechanically engaging and possibly more refined for riders who still want to feel like they're riding a motorcycle, not a robotic scooter. That said, the project is not without its skeptics. Just as the Ninja 7 Hybrid received criticism for its complexity and pricing without offering a dramatically improved riding experience, there's a chance that the hybrid MT-09 could fall into the same trap. Consumers have always been wary of paying more for technology that feels like a compromise. But there's hope. Yamaha has a wider CP3 based strategy in motion. With news of an MT-09 Turbo also in development, Yamaha is clearly aiming to offer riders multiple flavors built around their beloved 890cc triple engine platform. A standard combustion version for the purists, a turbocharged model for the thrill seekers, and now a hybrid variant for the eco-conscious and urban commuters. What makes this even more interesting is that Yamaha isn't only chasing emissions compliance, they're enhancing the versatility of their lineup. With turbo and hybrid tech being explored in parallel, we could be entering a new golden age of motorcycle choice where riders can pick not just between models, but entire power philosophies. Will you choose instant electric torque for city sprints? Will you go for the adrenaline punch of turbocharged acceleration? Or stick with the raw purity of the CP3's natural performance? Whatever the case, Yamaha's daring step into the hybrid world shows they're not sitting idle. They're adapting, they're evolving, and they're making sure the legacy of the MT-09 doesn't fade away in the shadows of regulatory shifts or competitive pressure. With the R9 and MT-09 turbo models on the horizon, it will become even more interesting to see how many versions Yamaha will bring to the market under their CP3 engine lineup. So what will you choose? Turbo, hybrid, or a simple combustion model? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, we'd love to hear your take. If you enjoyed this video and want to dive deeper into the history and evolution of legendary motorcycles, from vintage Hondas to cutting-edge hyperbikes, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to SK for more exciting content. Ride safe, dream big, and stay tuned for our next story. Goodbye.